If mysterious creatures with tails make you nervous, then strap in for this video posted to Reddit by Setless Grape. The video shows horsehair worms leaving their host. Horsehair worms are parasites that usually range from 2 to 3.9 inches long and are often found in bodies of water and other damp areas. Only the larvae are parasitic on beetles, cockroaches, and other insects. In this case, what appears to be a praying mantis, watching something that is 100% real and insanely disturbing, is enough to make anyone nervous. Can you handle this horror you can't ever unsee? Nah, neither can I. Just by looking at the exterior of this house, you can tell it's clearly haunted. Published by Han Kardeschler, these three paranormal investigators are doing a ritual just to make sure. Circling a small table with candles lit on top, the men are seen grasping the table and chanting a ritual while noises are heard around them. Then outside they see this. A pale face in the window moves away. Back inside, the men are chanting around the table again when a wheeled chair rolls into view. One of the men seem to be shocked by something unexplained and without a word walks away. The others follow him, uncertain of where he went. They find him outside standing at a distance in the darkness. He is suddenly snatched by someone and pulled from view. They find him in a strange stick hut and appear to talk him into normalcy. But what of the snatcher? Was this the work of the mad face in the window? I think so. Sidestep Adventures is surprised to actually find what he's been looking for out in the Georgia woods. You stepped on it. Oh wow. There it is. Another person's grave. They carefully reassemble it and respectfully read her name out loud. Oh, there it is, sacred. To the memory of Mrs. Jane and died November 3rd, 1843. Under the heavy marker, they find a crushed bouquet of flowers left by a loved one. The petals are in excellent condition and largely retain their color. Finding fresh flowers under a more than 100 year old grave is already weird enough, but then Sidestep Adventures reads more and realizes who this Mrs. Jane is to him. And Stacy Duckworth and Samuel were my great, great, great grandparents. So she was actually a half-sister to my great great grandfather. So let's recap. He literally stumbles across an extremely concealed grave in the middle of the woods. Fresh flowers are underneath despite the grave being from 1843. Then he discovers it's a long-lost relative and has to admit that this seems like it could be fate. Well, we did find it somehow. I tell you, if you hadn't stepped on it, we wouldn't have. It's almost as if the spirit of his ancestor was waiting to be found. We are going to an abandoned house today. It's near my house. No one's been in for like four or five years. The place is haunted. A YouTuber named Chippy Watson is exploring an abandoned house at 3 a.m. to make a video they will forever remember as a paranormal investigation gone wrong. First, they find this little room that gives them the creeps and makes them shut the door because a ghost is near. Or at least that's what it feels like to them. No, shut that. I bet you didn't notice this, but at 2 minutes and 21 seconds, right when he opens the door, a ghost orb or some kind of strange light is caught on camera, seemingly moving into the small room. That's creepy. Oh, sure. 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 
is completely shut. <laughs> completely shut. All right, let's get up, up in the attic because we never did. They don't go exploring much of the attic because the floor is nothing but soft insulation that they don't want to fall through at any time, much less at 3 a.m. I don't see anything haunted or scary caught on camera here, but if you do, let me know. They find some more weird and possibly paranormal evidence in the basement in the form of footsteps in the dust. Someone has been walking around in circles over and over again and kicking holes in this room. Why do all the other footsteps? Maybe poltergeist activity, maybe kids partying in an abandoned house. The group goes exploring upstairs some more and finds the door open. A ghost opened the door, they think. I say it could be a loose doorknob, of which there are plenty to be found in abandoned houses. But then again, they did get scared in this part before and felt like a ghost was near, so it could be paranormal. And that's when the scariest 3am moment of all happens. His friend tells him to come closer to catch the scary ghost noises on camera. Uh. Did you just knock? Soft knocking noises are coming from the other side of the door. It's not them either. The stick he's holding doesn't touch the wall. Watch. And when two more knocks happen while well, he's standing even farther away, so it's not him. Did you just knock? Who knows what they would have seen if they looked inside the room for a final time. YouTube team Ozark Paranormal Project sets up a stationary camera in this haunted room. While the group is all hanging out in the hallway, notice that their shadows cast from a light in the next room to the upper wall. But later, when no one's there, strange lights are cast on the room's walls. What was that? Watch above the open door. It almost looks like fairy dust. It doesn't appear the same as the other light sources falling in the room. But is it paranormal? I think it's more likely a camera glitch of some kind, but I've never seen one so bizarre. This strange knocking happens at the same time every night and no other times during the day. 2 in the morning. This is definitely no animal. Whoever is knocking wants to make its presence known and apparently wants to get in now immediately. I can also hear a strange paranormal voice before they knock during this part. I don't think it's the television because you don't hear it during any other part of the video. He shows us the outside of the trailer, and clearly nothing is out of the ordinary. Yet when he returns indoors, so does the knocking from outside. Five minutes has been doing it. Hopefully whatever this is never gets the idea to try the door. A group of friends see a stranger leave the woods in a hurry. They think it's odd and make a video. And they caught someone coming out of the tunnel. Uh, pretty creepy, pretty scary. So. Oh, bro, what's that smell? Oh, it's rank. Can you smell that? Guys, it's literally flies all over the place. Oh, bro, could you smell that? That stinks, bro. Oh, nasty, huh? In the tunnel, they find a white sheet covered in red with a very distinct human outline underneath. And this is their reaction. <laughs> That stinks. <laughs> Man, that was grim. I wouldn't feel body right now. Wouldn't ring the police. As crazy as anything. Having this happen would be really scary. We need to ring the police. What? We need to ring the police. Have you got a phone? No, I've not got a phone. Have you got, have you got one? Bro. 
Yeah, can I please, please? One minute you're hanging out with your friends, and the next moment you're all suspects. Yeah, I've just found, uh, just been exploring with me, and we've just found a body. A YouTuber named D Edge detects strange activity in his hallway after leaving his PS4 camera on record. This small figure appears no less than two times. Despite the apartment being empty, at least according to the uploader, 20 seconds later, the figure makes its second entrance, hanging around the top of the doorway each time before disappearing into the darkness. I was thinking that maybe this was light coming from the window across the room, but the angle doesn't exactly match up. Something is definitely there, but let me know what you think it could be. A drive down Interstate 4 nearly turned very bad for one lucky driver who barely avoided a light pole falling on them. The footage was caught by Rob V. Wagger on route to exiting the interstate near Maitland Arts Center. At a distance, he notices the pole teetering, so he breaks slightly. That's when the light pole was sent falling to the ground. V. Wagger barely avoided the pole, which could have taken his life. He made his way around the obstacle, which the Florida Department of Transportation says likely became unstable when a concrete truck reversed into it. This just goes to show that surprises can jump out at you when you least expect them. You can never be too careful. This video was supposedly taken by a robotic camera while surveying an old oil tanker. A school of fish briefly swims in front of the camera, and suddenly one of the fish gets nailed by a spear in front of the camera. Something fast swims by to collect the fish shortly after. Many people believe that this video demonstrates the possibility of some kind of advanced sea creature who uses tools to hunt. After all, there's no reason for a person to be this far underwater hunting with a spear, and whatever moves in front of the camera is too fast to be a person. Of course, the obvious answer is CGI, but I would love to get your thoughts. A TikToker called Upbeat Yamaha is traveling a normal speed and is surprised when this truck abruptly pulls over to let him pass, then begins to mysteriously speed up to follow him. Upbeat Yamaha gets paranoid and pulls pulls over in a neighborhood to watch the white car pass, but when he pulls out in the main road, the white truck slows down and deliberately pulls over again. Okay, now what is this truck seriously doing? Nothing looks wrong with his car, so for some reason he must be watching this biker. Now he is getting freaked out at this point and pulls over one more time, but as you can see the truck stays at a stop sign and refuses to turn until he goes first. This part confirms to me at least that the truck is absolutely following him and not going to give up anytime soon. The vehicle keeps appearing in the strangest of places and I personally think upbeat Yamaha should have called the authorities at this point, but he doesn't and is eventually followed to where he lives. The police later show up at his house because for some reason his bike was reported as missing. It was almost certainly the man in the white truck who called it in, though why he thought the bike was taken to begin with, let alone felt compelled to follow someone all the way to their home, is something this video cannot explain. This video requires a bit of backstory. In 1961, Massachusetts housewife Stella Lansing started to experience things of an extraterrestrial nature, including men in black, humanoids, UFOs, UFOs and otherworldly visions. She captured much of her experiences on various types of film. It wasn't until 1967 that Stella bought a silent 8mm film camera. Although she'd taken photographs of the odd sightings, the film camera captured more strange images and structures that Stella never saw in person, but that turned up on film. And yet again, Stella came across the strange lights while driving on Route 32. She exited her car to see them better, as did another driver. The lights were yellowish and, as Stella described, silently walking from east to west to the old cemetery. The other driver had also seen the lights. This was Stella's chance to catch the orbs on her 8mm camera, so she headed back home to retrieve it and then returned to the intersection. More lights appeared, with one of the red ones bouncing like a rubber ball, as she described. 
A friend showed up and the pair watched the lights together until they burst into a white light. As she continued her recording of these strange events into the 70s, she discovered an odd clock-like pattern on her photos and films as well as geometric pattern overlapping the frames on the film itself. The mystery only grew in 1991 when a TV show called Sightings did a segment on Stella's video logs when they exported her silent 8mm film to VHS. Unknown voices were heard. Stella has since passed away in 2012 and no one can explain the mystery of her sightings. A YouTuber named Barbecue Thunder 7 watches in awe as huge chunks of hail fall from the sky, landing with the force of solid rock. <laughs> When it finally starts to calm down, he summons his courage and steps outside for a closer look. Hale is still falling periodically at this point and could get him at any moment. Some of them landed with such impact that now they are buried deep into the ground. And if you have any doubt as to how much danger he was in, these are the holes in his roof from the bad weather. If it can do this to a roof, imagine what it could do to his head. Is there something in the attic? Redditor Air Icer suspects so. After hearing tapping on the attic wall, they meet it with Sage. <laughs> And this is what they captured. What was that sound? I tend to agree with Titus that this sounds like a metallic spring bang, but that doesn't necessarily negate a paranormal presence, perhaps the spirits just jumping up and down on the bed. If you ever question the paranormal, maybe test your skepticism with this video. This footage was captured in the Czech Republic and posted in January of 2012. The uploader writes, This footage will prove once and for all ghosts exist. The clip shows a snowy road in the darkness of night. A car is stalled in the road as blizzard-like conditions swirl all around. Then in front of it, a semi-transparent figure appears. There is a glow at the top of what would be its head, like a flame. It stops in the middle of the camera's purview before disappearing again. Some of the comments note that the thing, whatever it is, is moving in the opposite direction as the wind in the snow. Commenter Denise M. Sanders suggests it was a person who was hit while crossing the road and passed away on the scene. Many agree that this looks like legit paranormal activity. What do you think? If you ever question the paranormal, maybe test your skepticism with this video. This footage was captured in the Czech Republic and posted in January of 2012. The uploader writes, This footage will prove once and for all ghosts exist. The clip shows a snowy road in the darkness of night. A car is stalled in the road as blizzard-like conditions swirl all around. Then in front of it, a semi-transparent figure appears. There is a glow at the top of what would be its head, like a flame. It stops in the middle of the camera's purview before disappearing again. Some of the comments note that the thing, whatever it is, is moving in the opposite direction as the wind in the snow. Commenter Denise M. Sanders suggests it was a person who was hit while crossing the road and passed away on the scene. Many agree that this looks like legit paranormal activity. What do you think? We've all been warned never to pick up hitchhikers, but that advice especially goes for paranormal ones. This dash cam footage was posted in July of 2019. The dash Dashcam's clock shows that the clip was taken around 2 in the morning. If you blink, you'll miss it, so pay careful attention. Driving down a dark and empty highway, the car is traveling at a fairly fast speed when, off to its right, in the empty lane, appears a figure. Some say it has its thumb out for a ride. Do you see it? Is it a ghost? Or is it just a regular person with a bad wish? After all, who hails a ride in the middle of the road during the darkness of night? 
fate. Only someone who's looking to get run over, or at least doesn't mind testing fate, whether ghost or real boy. This isn't something you want to see while driving down a dark road at 2 a.m. It might very well send you into a terrified tailspin, making you the next ghost on the highway. In mythology, jinn are beings that appear in human form and are of a spirit level lower than angels. They have been known to possess humans. It appears one is possessing this boy in this video. An attempt to exorcise the demon is being made. As a man chants, the boy sits in a chair beside him, completely out of it. The boy shakes his head, making demonic voices. While the man continues to chant, he starts to rock with the music, his body shaking more and more. The man eventually puts a hand on his head, and the song stops. The boy is gasping for breath. They spray him in the face with a spray bottle of some liquid, perhaps holy water. The man later continues in his chant, patting the boy and moving him around variously. The boy becomes still and quiet for a while. Not long after, you can hear screaming from the other side of the room. Finally, you can see where it's coming from. Another woman, also appearing possessed. <laughs> Was this boy at last exercised of the jinn, or did it simply just make its way into this other woman's body? When two strangers pull up to your boat on the Nile, you have to assume the worst. This area is known for pirates. They cast a line and tie themselves to the ship in preparation to board. Oh dear lord. The one in white reaches down and then back turns, stands up while holding something. Alright guys, look for art. Does anyone see an G in there? He reaches back into his pocket and pulls out nothing but towels. As it turns out, this area is full of traveling salesmen too, even at sea. Still, I think they probably should have ran for help as soon as they thought these could be pirates. Instead of recording in plain sight and making themselves an easy target, the story of Sally and the Wood goes something like this. Located outside Bath and Somerset, there's a road that passes into the woodland of Brown's Folly, which locals refuse to drive down after dark due to the terrifying legend surrounding it. Known by locals as Sally in the Wood, it is said that no birds can be heard chirping through this stretch of the forest as a girl has her life taken there and now haunts the place. Some say they've heard a screaming child in the dark forest, and some have seen a full-bodied apparition of a girl racing into the road at night. The legends are all over the place about Sally in the woods. According to some, Sally was an 18th century gypsy girl who was held captive in a tower where she perished. The website Wiltshire Paranormal claims that this story is entirely fictional and that the name Sally in the woods more likely came from a battle that occurred at Brown's Folly in 1643. As Sally is slang for scrimmish, this could very well be true. However, the Baffert Society claims that Sally was an actual person, but not the only one who passed away in a tower. This legend claims that Sally was a witch, living in a hut in the woods. Local records put Sally's passing at the age of 100, although that wouldn't really explain her appearance as a young girl ghost, unless Sally the Witch had the ability to appear youthful. Regardless of what you choose to believe, the generational legend of Sally in the Woods lives on, and the resulting fear can be felt throughout this video, published to YouTube by the abandoned prepper in March of 2020, examining various parts of the house up close. The abandoned prepper wanders through this haunted place solo. Some parts of the house appear deeply aged, while others recall the more recent past. There's an old piano, a strange lock on the door, and an old photo box in the basement that appears as though they're from another century, but other parts of the home look as though they're from the 60s or 70s. Prepper says that he can hear water running and regularly hear strange noises. Shortly after entering, there is a definite sound of glasses clinking about upstairs while he is downstairs. This is massive. I'm getting a bit scared now. The f Hello? Prepper calls out to alert anyone else exploring the house to his presence. He also said the house has recently become a hotspot for urban explorers. He returns to the first floor and then upstairs to the second. He keeps hearing strange noises throughout. Birds are chirping and the sound of running water. What? <laughs> 
someone's flooding the basement. He compares the house to Amityville and says it definitely gives him bad vibes. While he explores the adjacent house, at one point he enters a room. Notice there's no blue ball here. He heads upstairs and there's a loud sound of something wooden slamming or falling down. When he returns to that same room later, there's a blue ball in the middle of it. The call is coming from inside the house. He also finally discovers where the sound of running water was coming from. The basement of the house is being flooded. There's a hose passing down there, so it looks like it was done intentionally. As he's getting ready to head out of the home, he turns the corner to descend the stairs. That's when you hear the strike of a piano key. While at the same time the hallway light bulb is swinging back and forth, he races down to catch whoever struck the cord, but there's no one. Finally outside, he turns back to look at the dark shell of a house. You can literally feel the creepiness shed away from you. A truck driver checks his mirror just in time to see a dusty road hazard swirling his way. Try and translate this part, because I would love to hear his initial reaction word for word. <laughs> The mini tornado dances all around and blocks the only exit. Getting out and running is probably not a good option because it could randomly change direction and come barreling his way. Now all he can do is stay inside and hope it doesn't move forward. Another 10 feet and rip off his door, which it looks strong enough to do. If you doubt its power, this bent street light says otherwise. After less than a minute, the tornado of dust dissipates moments before raging through somebody's front door. We like to think that we'd somehow remain in control of any emergency, but all of this was random. His survival was based far more on chances than choices. This poltergeist is not at all timid. Published by JCG Dragon in August of 2019, this scary video was filmed in a haunted home in Argentina. The video shows a bedroom door slamming as hard as it can. <laughs> the cameraman approaches the door, opens it, and in the opposite room, captures objects being thrown on the floor. Assumedly by the same poltergeist, the cameraman enters the room crying in fear. When he turns the corner, there is nothing there, but slamming is heard again. <laughs> and he turns to find the door from the other room has slammed shut again. And what's worse, the power goes out. It sounds like the camera is dropped to the floor. I no, 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 no. I no, no, no. What havoc will now ensue in the darkness? As the video ends there, it's left up to our imaginations. But judging from how these events are playing out, I can't think it's anything good. YouTuber Moment Films was digging in his backyard when he came across a hole covered in bricks. So he and his friend continue digging, peeking in the hole halfway through. The kids see something metal, pipes, and glass bottles. They move brick out of the way. The kid thinks it used to be a dump before being covered up and built over top. One man's trash is another man's treasure, he says. The crew tries to figure out a way to get into the gap safely without hurting themselves. While digging, they find two blue glass bottles dating back to 1906 that read Milk of Magnesia. They're able to sit down in the backyard treasure scape after finding a hole with a lid leading to the underground junkyard. Here, they sift through a truckload of treasure, including loads of old glass bottles, newspapers from the 1900s, rusted metal odds and ends. When they show a shot from underground, you can see the place was built with a perfectly bricked-in ceiling. The area is pretty expansive. After cleaning all the bottles with soap and water and sorting them out, they claim them as their treasure. Kids, the moral of this story is don't spend all your time indoors. Buried treasure may be hidden right in your own backyard. 
A YouTuber named The Inception of Yara Phoenix captures a scary moment on camera. While exploring India, while doing some kind of construction work, a member of this crew holds a spike in place while another swings a heavy hammer a few feet from his head. The man is leaning away as far as he can, but with no helmet and no other kind of protection, not even a barrier to keep pedestrians from walking into him. It really does seem like a matter of time before something really scary happens. Take a listen for yourself. And he's one miss and you're Those are some heavy blows that there would be no recovering from if a mistake were to happen. I can only imagine how scary it would be to be working in that position, putting your life in the hands of somebody else who you probably barely know, hearing the sound of the hammer coming so close over and over again. This scary moment caught on tape is no doubt 100% real, and this is exactly what makes it so terrifying. Does this sink need a plumber or a priest? Watch this video and tell me if this paranormal activity is real, or just a creepy plumbing problem. There's no motion sensor on this sink, and yet the water somehow turns off on its own, like someone is standing right there. I want to know if this workplace bathroom is as haunted as Tom Cunnington claims. I did some research online, and it looks like it might just need a valve replacement, but I was hoping someone with plumbing experience could tell me if this was the case. If so, hopefully we can put Tom's mind at ease, because I think these scary moments caught on camera have been really freaking him out. A YouTuber named Fazi Kidanaya of Pakistan has caught some creepy things on tape while exploring a haunted building that used to be a school. <laughs> It doesn't take very long for the scary stuff to begin. His ghost meter detects a presence in this room shortly before the paranormal activity ramps up a lot and a window slams shut on its own. इस जगह पे जो भी चीज मौजूद है ये कैमरे भी घूमे जा रहा है ब्लर क्यों हो रहा है बार-बार क्यों ब्लर हो रहा है ये समझ में नहीं आ रहा मुझे a final loud crash sends him running out of the building to see what's making all of the noise. All he finds is a stray cat outside, which he suspects is a shape-shifting djinn because no cat would walk towards all that commotion. I'm not so sure about all that, but I do think it's strange how this classroom is the only place where weird haunted things get caught on camera. Exploring the rest of the haunted school reveals no other paranormal activity, just whatever's by this window. This Witch is Up to No Good, published by Zona Paranormal Veracruz in December of 2021. This scary video starts with a flash. While in this graveyard, the man appears to have happened upon a ritual being performed. A figure is speaking and making this fire come to life. Later amongst the mausoleums, the man hears that strange voice again in the darkness. Followed shortly by a high pitched sing song voice. 
The man then falls forward hard, pushed by an unseen force. He sees a ghostly figure from a distance approaching him. And then it's too close for comfort. <laughs> the fire is blazing again, and upon approaching the fading flames, the cameraman sees a witchy woman hunched over departing. Señora, señora, solo vengo a explorar, no vengo a hacer daño. Allá adentro, allá adentro una sombra, allá adentro una sombra, allá adentro, allá adentro. What sort of ritual was this witch performing? This cameraman might find out in his days to come. Buckle your seatbelts. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. This video is apparently forbidden in most countries, and it's clear why. The footage shows two lit up objects in the sky. They're both moving slightly, with one of them moving a bit faster than the other and in different directions. The lights blink as the unidentified flying device on the bottom moves up towards towards the one above it. Suddenly, they fuse and it sends a shockwave through the sky like a bolt of lightning. What in the heck just happened here? <laughs> the uploader stumbled across the freaky forbidden video in the summer of 2018. Some think it's most likely a clip from an indie movie. Redditor the lovely Raven 313 points out, if this actually happened, the media would be on it. Many agree with this sentiment. While well, some are willing to suspend their disbelief when asked what it is, the Redditor admits he doesn't know. That's why I'm posting this to try and solve the mystery, he writes. Can you solve the mystery? I'm at a loss here. What did you say? Can you say that again? Right into the side of my thing? I heard you. A TikToker named Deadbeat TV is investigating a haunted farmhouse for traces of the paranormal when he gets an answer to his question in the form of a passing shadow. What did you say? Can you say that again? He is standing completely still, and yet something moves fast across the floor. The shadow is perfectly contained within this room, and does not touch either side of the doorway at all. It doesn't come from behind. Something ran across this room, a low moving shadow with no body attached, and shortly after, this second ghostly shadow reaches out. This seems like something paranormal to me. A singing bowl is an instrument of meditation that comes from Tibet. You strike it like you would a gong, and the vibrations are meant to induce a different state of consciousness. Here, a rather serious and displeased looking face appears in the singing bowl. After it's filled with water and struck, it can't be a reflection of the person filming because there's no body underneath and obviously no camera. I think this is probably edited because of the low resolution Solution, but then again, this video could be taken from a remote monastery that has little use for modern technology. Elliot Mosqueda has a motion sensor cam in his living room that at first glance appears to go off for no reason. Look at the television though to see someone crossing the room. I can see the black reflection of this square poster in the television. So it definitely really was the same background. The question is if it's real or edited. A YouTuber named Sans the Skeleton 101 thinks he may have seen a monster lurking in his yard. The out of focus object looks like it could be a creature on all fours, but I'm just not sure. It doesn't really seem to be moving and could just easily be a pile of dirt. Whatever it is, it sends Sans the Skeleton 101 running back into his house in terror. Let me know what you think it was, and if you think he was really in any significant danger at the time. Being a pilot can seem like a glamorous job, but sometimes it's downright terrifying. YouTuber Don MCL1 published this video in October of 2006. The clip shows a jet taking off from a runway, but soon sirens start sounding off, while the aircraft's Nose points skyward. Oh. Okay, 
T6NL. T6NL. Lots of talk back and forth over the radio is indecipherable. The nose then pans sideways, clearly indicating the aircraft is out of control. Over the radio, you can hear someone mention engine failure. Right before someone says eject, 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 as the nose of the plane turns downward. Shortly after, the plane nose dives and the footage scrambles. While the description of this video doesn't reveal much about the incident, Kiwi Jet Pilot in the comments section appears to be quite knowledgeable about what happened here. First off, he clears up the description of the plane, saying it's not an F-16 but a Canadian-flown British-built BAE Hawk. He states that this occurred in May of 2004 in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, during a UK Royal Air Force crew training mission, but this video shows they survived by the skin of their teeth, a little too close for comfort. This video of a Mississippi swamp creature is hard to see, but the payoff is worth it. Watch the circled area and tell me if you see movement or not. Maybe. Now here is the same area zoomed in. You can see something is behind the tree, a creature whose oversized arms extend down to the swamp. It straightens its back as it sees the camera and looks to the camera. It's hard to say if this really is a swamp creature or just shadows cast from the leaves above. This is allegedly the swamp creature's face. If it was just a bit closer, we'd have enough detail to make a final decision. That looks like it could be the face of a creature or just some tree bark to me. A man finds himself trapped on the 30th floor of the Shinjuku Center building in Tokyo after the entire city was rocked by a 9.1 quake. Now nowhere is safe and there is nothing left to do except to record as doors and cabinets swing open uncontrollably and the entire building shakes. Everything grows eerily silent, and then this voice cuts through the speakers. There is a lot of frantic chatter in the background, so I think it was a live broadcast, not a recording. Try and translate if you can, because if you were there, your life may have very well have depended on following these instructions. After a while, the speakers turn off, and the guest hopelessly watches as the buildings sway like trees. It's kind of hard to see what I'm talking about, because the building he's in is shaking too. This second video, taken near the top floor of the Shinjuku Center building, shows how bad the shaking really was. The buildings look like they are going to topple at any moment, but they are actually designed to be incredibly flexible and can withstand intense vibrations. Keep in mind that these are just the smaller aftershocks and not the actual quake itself, which was, believe it or not, much worse. Erwin Saunders enchants us again with these captures of a folkloric woodland creature. Published in October of 2021, Erwin was searching for another creature when he caught this one unexpectedly near a small waterfall. The creature flits quickly into view, too fast to see clearly. Oh. It makes a reappearance again later, but it still moves too fast for the human eye. Yeah. Some in the comments note that in slow motion, the creature appeared to have a big head and bat-like wings. What is this thing? Is it truly a folkloric woodland creature? Because that appears to be the case. Give your haunted eyes a rub and take another look. A TikToker called What Up Craig records something in his home that only his dog can sense. Something invisible that might be standing at the doorway. Mm -hmm. 
is not someone hiding off camera because the dog looks down one hallway and then it gets up to look down the other, growling all the while. Whatever it's looking at couldn't have crossed the hall without being seen by the camera. At one point, the dog starts making small head movements as it tracks something flying around, and whatever it is seems to come inside of the room at one point. Whether this really is a spirit or just a bug is what I'm trying to figure out, as What Up Craig seems to have firmly made up his mind, and I'm looking to do the same. What's going on? Redditor HD Gun posted this footage to the ghost subreddit. The video shows a semi-transparent figure rush past. The figure is short in stature and appears to enter from behind some plants near the home's fence. Of course, Redditors have some theories. While I'm not sure that I agree it's a parrot, I do think it's an animal. You can see there's a blur, smudge, or lens flare on the lower portion of the camera, which is probably why the figure looked blurred, but to me the figure looks like it's walking, not flying. While it could very well be paranormal, the way it's moving looks like how a monkey walks to me. So I'm thinking now there's a possibility it's a wild animal, but why would it look like this on camera? In the moment, you might not catch some unexpected apparition appearing around you. It's only when you play that moment back that you find it. Published by William Villas in September of 2013, he writes in Malé, This video was filmed on August 3rd, 2013 when we were waiting for the troops to have a video clip that was still unavailable. The video shows a group of men sitting and talking in the darkness. They appear to be sitting in a stairwell as they laugh completely oblivious to what's going on around them. You see a girl dressed in white with long black hair and shoulders hunched forward pass by slowly at the top of the stairway. The men must not have noticed in the moment as they continue on as usual, but they sure must have gotten the scare of their lives when they watch this clip back later on, only to make this mysterious and unexpected discovery. Once you see the apparition, you watch it again, over and over, because you can't look away from it. Dennis of Dark Ghost Paranormal is at his breaking point in this scary video. Published in March of 2022, Dennis encounters the most terrible demon in this haunted abode. Dennis conducts an EGF session with a horned skull facing a mirror. It tells him, you let him out. After asking what he should do, the skull requests a ritual. He's told to burn it and take it to the swamp, otherwise the demon will follow him. He is also told that the demon is here. Dennis creeps around the house searching. He doesn't need to look far. Dennis is later dragged across the room by his heel. After regaining his feet, he calmly takes in the entire disaster zone. Then an object under a big draping robe moves toward him. Is this the demon? He'd better get to that ritual. I have a feeling there is worse to come. Here's a video that is either 100% fake or 100% terrifying. A family from the Philippines is going for a joy ride when they spot a pedestrian ahead of them who is scary enough to make them bust out the cameras and start recording. <laughs> Do 
The obvious answer is that this person could have just pulled their shirt over their head as a prank, but look a little closer and you can see that there is a pair of fully developed shoulders that lead up to the neckline, right where the head should be. You can even see sweat stains where the shoulder blades are. Also, more importantly, how would they be able to walk so smoothly like that with a shirt covering both of their eyes? This person definitely has a strong sense of direction. I can't tell if this video is real or not, but a local myth in the Philippines would suggest it is actually real. Apparently, when you live in the Philippines and you see a person who is missing their head, it is a symbol that means they are going to pass away soon. Therefore, a lot of people think that this video is proof that the legend is real. What would you do if you came across this chilling scene at night? Well, because there's a sign on the side of the road that reads, Free Cat. If it's there to lure unsuspecting people in, it's done its job. As these three stop their car to check out the makeshift animal shelter. As the trio approach the sign, they realize they're looking at something truly horrifying on a dark, deserted road at night. They conclude that whoever did this put the cats there because they're psycho. Couldn't agree more. Get out of there as fast as humanly possible. Dan Sedrin is a paranormal investigator who calls this next video one of the scariest places he's ever explored. Just thinking back on the place makes his eyes go wide with fear. We decided to hit Blue Ghost Tunnel. It's one of the most haunted places um, in all of Southern Ontario, and it definitely lived up to the hype. He and his two friends, Nicole and Jenna, appear calm and relaxed when he first starts exploring the Blue Ghost Tunnel in Ontario, Canada. It was tough to get here. I had to go through the woods, but um, we're going to keep exploring. But halfway through exploring the tunnel, he claims to see some kind of paranormal activity. No, look at the blue mist. Nicole and Jenna are reluctant to go any further as some kind of mist wraps around Dan and moves ahead of him. It's getting really far. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to touch the beam. Okay, hold up. He bravely takes a few steps forward and knowing his friends are already scared, challenges them to turn off their flashlights for 10 seconds. Turn off your lights, just turn off your lights. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay. Scary voices seem to be whispering a message at them from the darkness and they get out of the tunnel fast. It's scary enough to make one of them nearly lose their mind. What did you guys hear? Cause it was like a... Uh, it was like a... It, yeah, but it was like... It was like a person. Like, a, like an old person. Like, like a growl. Like not a growl, but like... Like look at my hand. <laughs> Oh, you're shaking. Yeah. <laughs> you're really shaking. Let's go. <laughs> let's, okay, all right, let's go. Let's, let's, go, yeah. let's go. That kind of fear is impossible to fake. So while this may or may not be a real ghost, we can at least agree that they were genuinely afraid. This ghost is hungry. Published by Pilot Error Podcast in December of 2020, this woman was finally able to capture on camera what had apparently been happening for a while. After hearing a noise in the kitchen, she grabs her camera and waits. That's when she sees this. The cupboard is opening just a little bit at first, then it opens a little wider, and then, instead of running away from the spirit, this woman runs toward it. And once in the kitchen, things get worse. Is this poltergeist just inviting everyone to dinner? And will you attend? Should be an interesting enough meal. A small crowd gathers to watch a commercial airliner take off, but what should be a fun little diversion turns into a scary moment, and it's all caught on camera.
A person is getting in some exercise when they become engulfed in a sudden sandstorm created by high-powered turbine engines. He's directly in the jetliner's path and there's nowhere for him to go but down a steep slope into the water and you can see others are also stuck in its path. This is probably exactly why there aren't more beaches this close to an airport. I know this is kind of humorous, but it stops being funny if you get a piece of sand embedded in your eye, or worse, which thankfully did not happen here. This doll is creepy in and of itself, but what happens in this video makes it even more macabre. Posted to Reddit with the title, my parents have had this doll for many years and it gave me creeps just looking at it. When I recorded this, this is what happened. The doll looks like a Mexican puppet, strings and all, but the strings appear to be wrapped around the puppet, not extended for someone to be playing some trickery here. The doll, posted on a flat surface, is still for a moment, that is until its right hand starts to move ever so slightly. That's the only movements it makes however. It doesn't seem concerning or too eerie, perhaps it was just in an uncomfortable position, or maybe it's simply extending a hand for a shake. People in the comments are familiar with these puppets. Redditor's stomach issues says they are abundant in Mexico and his parents would buy them as gifts every once in a while. Dr. Q. Alas asks, are they all haunted? To which stomach issues replies that he's doubtful and that this video could have easily been altered. Others say that they can see fishing line tied to the puppet's hands, while some prompt the uploader to shake the puppet's hands. Still others insist that he burn it. What do you think? Do you see any fishing wire? I don't think I do, or do you think it's best that he burn this thing to the ground? While on duty at a hospital one night, a security guard noticed something alarming on CCTV footage at around 11pm. Let's take a look. The mysterious ball of fire is later seen returning from the other end of the hall. The security officer notes that senior officers said this phenomenon is unexplained but not uncommon. Many attest to having seen a child spirit, as well as the apparition of a young woman, wandering the grounds of this place. Is this one of their souls? I'd like to believe it is, but we can't rule out your run of the mill bug anomaly either. Weigh in with your opinion in the comments. A group of neighborhood kids from Algeria decide to rush the local haunted house, reasoning that the ghost inside can't get them all. Someone tell me what's going on here. I think they might be nervous and start to pray. <laughs> Their words seem to have successfully riled up something as they gather excitedly to see what's behind this wall. <laughs> You'll never believe the weird things they've caught on tape. <laughs> this still image taken at 3 minutes and 56 seconds shows at best the outline of a shadow figure watching them as they leave. This is some of the best paranormal evidence caught on tape that I've seen in a while. The mysterious figure is standing directly under a window and yet is still covered in darkness. A ghost has no use for a haircut, but apparently that doesn't stop one from haunting a famous barber shop called GQ Cuts in La Puente, California. Caught on security cam is a ghostly guest slipping under a blue gown. Oh, 
everyone, even the woman getting her hair cut is nervously looking at the chair, waiting for it to move again, which it doesn't. But hold on, nobody sees the scariest moment of all on the shelf above them. A creepy mannequin head turns towards him while well, he tries to tell everyone what he saw. Thankfully, the moving objects were caught on tape to prove him right. Then again, it could be this fan on full speed that's blowing objects around. A paranormal explorer in India known as Grey Wolf searches for evidence of the paranormal in the ruins of an abandoned shopping mall that's said to be haunted. On the balcony of the second floor, they find a small room hidden away that gives them a bad feeling. Personal clothing items from many different people seem to be piled in the corner, and maybe even a child's backpack. Grey Wolf continues exploring various abandoned places until they get to the next floor. Tell me what Grey Wolf's friend is pointing out moments before it happens. <laughs> A loud crash turns them around. Whatever he says, it's enough to make an object clatter to the floor from somewhere deeper inside. They hear footsteps and go to the roof, but no one's there. Then they hear another noise at the bottom. Did something walk past them on the stairs? They go down to investigate and find the place is empty, or so they think. Hello? A ghostly voice calls from somewhere unseen. He turns to the adjacent room, but I heard it from the woods, kind of at where they were pointing before. When they look out the window, a ghost or something bangs loudly, and then another loud crash before a witch's laughter fills the otherwise empty room. <laughs> They claim to hear a chant, and at that exact moment, a mysterious and unexpected light pierces the dark room. Whatever it is, it seems to like playing on the stairs. <laughs> An animal runs away, probably a cat from the looks of it, but that couldn't have been what made the very human voices they heard earlier. Many people suspect that this was a spirit called a djinn, who according to legends can take the shape of animals at will. A man claims that he keeps experiencing paranormal activity in his dining room and nowhere else. He feels unsafe and decides to leave a camera running in the dining room to see what goes on when he's not around. Nothing happens for a while, but then something comes along in the window that looks questionable. This is the zoomed in version. A tiny face appears to peek out at them from the glass panel on the bottom right before darting out of sight. You can't really make out any of its features, but notice how some orbs float by shortly before this happens. It's hard to tell if it's a paranormal creature or just a small animal, but I wouldn't want to be left alone in the house to find out. Uday Hindi is exploring an old building when he comes across a little girl staring at him from the corner of the room. <laughs> The door furthest away from both of them shuts all by itself before he gets a chance to investigate. Despite this, Uday Hindi bravely pushes into the next room and discovers she is not a girl, but rather a creepy life-size doll. He roughly handles the doll from room to room and throws it on the floor, and that's when the doll decides it's had enough. I saw no strings when the doll moved, did you? Anyway, he is busy analyzing some strange and possibly demonic markings on the doll when suddenly this happens. Watch and try and translate what he says shortly before it goes all wrong. 
طلعوا يا اخوان حتى الشيء داخلي This part I feel like could have been from the way the doll was leaning on the wall before it fell. But the incident before that I feel could be quite real. This old VHS footage was taken by construction workers during an interior renovation project in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's daytime and well lit, and the building still has a constant eerie vibe. They claim to have seen the ghost of a girl walking across the property, and the air grew cold around them, even though they are in the south. One of them records this mysterious noise coming from the hallway. It sounds like a moan from behind. Take a listen. He calls out for his friend Tom and picks up a strange whispering noise as he turns. Hey, Tom! He pauses outside of an especially dark room and feels watched by a presence within, a force that strips him of his bravery and leaves him small and vulnerable. He sees movements and bolts down the hall. I think I can see the outline of something in the corner here. When the room is brightened, could this be the ghost girl they were talking about? He decides to take one last look in the room and cautiously peeks inside. Rushing footsteps come from within and send him screaming off the job site. Caden Parker meets up with some friends at a local skate park and finds someone much older trying to pick arguments with everyone he sees. Big man! Who's big man? You, right? I'm going for a sleeper. Dude, come on. Just, can you just like leave us alone? We're, we're just trying to have a good time enjoying the nice weather. Like, is cares? It? You know, I'm going for a sleeper. Soon, he turns his attention towards Caden and tells him he's going to put him in a submission hold if he comes down from the ramp. By now, the skate park has mostly cleared out, so it's just a face-off between Caden and this angry stranger. Dude, the police are on the way. I hope you know that. I hope so. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't saw the 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 skate park. Skate park. And he just kind of picked fights with little kids. <laughs> Alright then. Yo, tell him to send an officer ASAP. An officer shows up right before things get any more out of hand. I really don't think this is a fake video because the officer walks up and puts him in cuffs straight away. Apparently, he has a long history of doing this and nobody seems to be acting. After he's taken away, the park fills back up with people who are scared away. Caden Parker shows a lot of bravery standing up for them, as well as self restraint by not stepping forward when challenged. Had this escalated. He could be in as much trouble as the person who is actually in the wrong. He did everything right in my opinion and is allowed to enjoy the rest of his day peacefully as a result. Old ship vessels are often known for their ghostly secrets. After all, they've seen the greatest evils on earth in the name of battle. Published to YouTube in February of 2013, the ghost activity abroad this Navy ship, the USS Hornet, originally aired on DE episode 32. The crew member can be heard explaining how to use the EVP when in the background of his discussion with the newbie, you can hear a strange voice, one that sounds like a little girl. It's hard to tell what the girl is saying without the voice being isolated in the audio file, although YouTube commenters have their theories. YouTuber Madcaps and Nemos writes, It sounds like she said, Can you tell me why they forgot me? Others hear, Do you think they know they got me? Some simply hear, Play with me. What do you hear? A ghost was seen in Banaras, India, walking across rooftops. The sighting scared many locals and led to a police investigation. Twitter user Banarasians tweeted this video of the incident. Did you see the figure? Take a closer look.
So far, the police haven't discovered what the figure was or who was behind it. Maybe that's because it's absolutely real. What do you think? I'm on the fence with this one. If you're eating grapes right now, step away from the bunch. Published by Sam Turner in September of 2015, a close-up of this grape bunch shows that something is growing on it and that something is hatching. Oh my lord. Oh my god, it's cruel. Ah! A spider is literally crawling out of the grapes these people purchased from a chain grocery store. The grapes were packaged in plastic, there appears to be a web wrapped around the vine, and the yellow sack spider crawls out of it. Several people in the comments say they found the same thing in their grapes from various grocery stores. Some commenters implied that supermarket staff were somehow responsible. But Pika Pika writes, The grocery store doesn't just insert a free spider. Grapes are scary. It doesn't matter where they're from. I had baby spiders crawling out of my grapes along with supposed mothers. Moral of the story? Don't eat expletive grapes. Or I'll add to that, just be mindful when you do. Spider. Oh my. That's a spider crawling out of our grape. <laughs> During a thunderstorm over Barcelona, an unidentified flying object popped in for a visit. Shared by Redditor Little Space Moshi, this large, unidentified flying object left its blinkers on. The unidentified flying object appears unmoved by the lightning. The large saucer just hovers there, leaving many concerned, but don't be alarmed. While it may be fake, I think that a CGI artist should earn an Oscar for this one. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.